Hi guys, very good evening to you. Uh, so I'm I'm just actually finished with the video number hundred, and this is going to be the video number hundred and one. Uh, and in my previous video, uh, when you'll watch it, you'll come to know that uh, there we have learnt actually that how you can create the number of sheets, uh, you know, by uh, giving the uh, by giving an uh, option to a user in the form of input box. So means a box will appear, and then if he wants to create let's say uh, four sheets five sheets and then he enters the number and press okay then those many sheets will be created now this time in this uh, 101 video uh, we'll do the reverse or uh, what we exactly are going to make a program uh, we want to delete sheets right uh, but we want to delete the sheets uh, you know whatever the sheet we actually will write in the input box so i'm going to create here a couple of sheets and uh, let's say let's give them a name all right so let's say you have uh, these uh, six uh, sheets now uh, before you want to delete this sheet you actually want to confirm you know you want to be hundred percent confirmed that whatever the sheet you're going to delete it is going to be accurate sometime what happens is uh, if a person who doesn't know Excel so well, you know, uh, instead of uh, deleting this uh, B sheet, he may delete this C sheet. So you can make this, um, you know, uh, quite uh, error-free, error-proof system by with the help of the VBA program. And uh, what we are going to do is we are going to give him the option in the input box, and whatever the sheet name uh, user will write, only that sheet will be uh, deleted. So go to the developer tab and uh, go to the visual basic environment and uh, if you have if you have a module then just select that module or maybe you can create a new module go to the insert and create this module so you will end up having a uh, another module which is module 2 and then I'm going to write here uh, delete sheets let's say okay um, so I'll quickly declare this um, I as string let me tell you in a while that uh, why I have declared it as a string and this I is now going to be equals to my input box and uh, in the prompt you can say that which sheet you want to delete okay or maybe you can say that uh, write sheet name and then in the title you can say that this will delete written sheet right and uh, put the quotes because this is a string uh, by default you don't want you want to leave it as blank so I'm just simply going to press enter and uh, so yeah so I was telling you that why I have declared this as a string because your sheets are uh, you know they have uh, this uh, the name the naming convention of your this uh, sheets are in text so that's why we have declared it as a string so now what will happen is what we want to do is the moment let me show you this code how it is going to work so I'm going to press F8 now you see here this will delete written sheet and uh, you are seeing here write sheet name so if I write here A and I press OK what exactly we want is that A should be deleted right so now what we are going to do is we are going to say that sheets and in this sheet I'm going to say that I should be selected right because I has A so if I drag this back and now I'm going to press F8 keep your eye over here um, on this Excel we are on the C and the moment I press F8 you see this code will take it on the sheet A because I has A and this I has actually given uh, has been given to us through this I parameter which is an input box so now what you want to do is uh, you want to see that active sheet uh, dot delete and I'm going to press I'm again going to run this code let me 
rerun this and now it will say that data may exist in the sheet to permanently delete press delete if you want to keep this you know as a double check that's fine if you don't want to get this kind of a prompt then what you can do is you can write this application display alerts equals to false so it will not declare any excel uh, it will not give you any pop-ups right the excel generally which i have on saving the file uh, using the save as option overwriting something you know whatever the ex excel prompts uh, are there to ensure that whatever you are doing you know that is actually correct it is in your knowledge so now let us run this code I have all the sheets with me so I want that um, which sheet I want to delete so I'm going to write here E now press OK now you see that I haven't been given any kind of a box uh, pop-up right pop-up uh, which says that you want to delete this sheet are you sure or not because I have used this application display alert equals to false now ensure that once you have this you should also once the code runs it should be true as well right uh, so if I'm going to comment this out and if you're still struggling to understand what exactly I'm talking about I'm just giving you the example again let me read on this code now what sheet you want to delete now we don't have E because it was deleted so I'll say that uh, this time it has to be C now press OK now this is what I was talking about you know this prompt when you, when you delete the sheet Excel gives you the alarm right that you're going to delete the sheet and it may have some data so are you sure are you do you know actually this is the sheet which you actually want to delete so if I delete this then the C will be deleted if I cancel this then it is not going to be deleted so I'm let me press this so it is deleted if you don't want these kind of a pop-ups you know then you can use these application uh, display alert equal to false and at the end of the video uh, at the end of the code you can write application dot display alerts equals to true right so this is the second example on the input box and uh, this was the 101 video uh, don't forget to sub uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, once again uh, one thing more uh, actually I want to tell you that uh, this is the playlist of my channel uh, wherein you can go ahead and you can choose whatever videos you want to you know watch according to the category right so that's the playlist which we have created so far and uh, there are already 101 videos uploaded so enjoy uh, you know uh, whatever topic you think that you want to practice or it is required in your work just choose that subject and go and watch it right I'll come up with some more fantastic stuff till then stay fit and be happy Thank you very much. Bye-bye.